In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the basics of a 10-pin bowling game. The principles can be applied to any type of bowling game. Drag to make the properties window wider. Click the object properties and set the X scale to 2 the Y scale to 8 and the Z scale to 0.1 and enter. We need a model of a skittle. You can make one yourself or download mine from my website. To append the model into the scene, file append, go to the folder where the model is saved, select the model, go into the object folder, select skittle, and append. Now it looks like the appended model is selected but it isn't. Make sure the skittle is selected. Press S to scale 0.1 and enter and set the Y location to 6 and the Z location to 0.5 and enter. Change Blender Render to Blender Game. Drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the toolbar and click the physics button. Change the physics type to rigid body. Tick no sleeping. Tick collision bounds and set the collision shape to convex hull. To duplicate the skittle, hold down the alt key, press D and enter. Click the Object Properties button and set the X location of the duplicate to 0.5 and set the Y location to 6.5. Alt, D and Enter and set the X location of the duplicate to minus 0.5. Alt, D and Enter and set the X location to 1 and the Y location to 7. With the cursor in the 3D window, Alt, D and Enter and set the X location to minus 1. Alt, D and Enter and set the X location to 0. Alt, D and enter and set the X location to 0.5 and the Y location to 7.5. Alt, D and enter and set the X location to minus 0.5. Alt, D and enter and set the X location to 1.5. Alt, D and Enter and set the X location to minus 1.5. Add Mesh UV Sphere. Press S to scale, 0.4 and Enter. Set the Y location to minus 7. Set the Z location to 0.5 and set shading to smooth. Click the physics button, change the physics type to rigid body, tick no sleeping, tick collision bounds and set the collision shape to sphere. Change the layout to game logic, change the view to perspective, change the view to the front view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. To rotate the view, drag with the middle mouse button. To pan the view, hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button. And use a mixture of zoom, rotate and pan to get a nice view down the alley. Drag to close the properties panel. Add a keyboard sensor and a motion actuator.
click on key and press the spacebar and set the linear velocity to 8 in the Y direction and connect that up. Click start to start the game engine, press the space bar and we see that the bowling ball is not heavy enough. Press escape to stop the game engine. Drag with the middle mouse button and click the physics button. Set the mass of the sphere to 100. And another refinement I'm going to make, select the alley, scroll down and tick collision bounds. Select the sphere. To close up the logic bricks, click the white triangles. To make the ball move left and right, add another keyboard sensor and another motion actuator. Click on key and press the left arrow and in the X location put minus 0 0.05 and connect those up. To move the ball to the right, add another keyboard sensor and another motion actuator. Select key and press the right arrow and set the X location to 0 0.05 and connect those up. With the mouse pointer in the 3D view window, press P to play. Press the right and left arrows to position the ball and press the space bar to roll it. Press escape to end the game engine. If not all the skittles are knocked over, we want another ball. How do we get another ball? Well, first of all, we have to move the ball into a different layer. Blender comes with 20 layers. In the object menu, move to layer, and I'm going to put the ball in the last layer, and a little dot appears to show there's an object in that layer. Add an empty to the scene. Click its object properties and set its location to where we want to add the ball. Minus 7 in the Y location and 0.5 in the Z location. To add a ball when the game is started, add an always sensor and an edit object actuator. By default it's in add object mode. The object we want to add you have to scroll down using the down arrow and select the sphere and connect those up. Add a message sensor and when the message next ball is sensed if we connect that up as well another ball is added to the scene. We need something to send the message next ball, so I'm going to add a plane to the scene. Press S to scale 1000 and enter, and set its Z location to minus 20. Click the physics button, tick ghost, that means the ball will go through the plane. Click invisible. Add a collision sensor and a message actuator and put for the subject of the message next ball and join those up. At the moment anything colliding with the plane will result in the next ball message being sent including the skittles if I type in the property ball, only objects with a game property ball will fire the sensor. Now I have to find the sphere, which is in the last layer, and I have to add a game property to it called ball, and go back to the first layer. With the sphere still selected, I'm going to do some housekeeping. 
When the ball passes through the plane, it carries on falling forever and the game engine will be calculating its position. To stop that, I'm going to use an edit object actuator in end object mode to remove the ball. When the ball passes through the plane, the a message next ball is sent. Connect those up. If they won't connect directly, add an AND controller and connect that up. I'm going to end the tutorial there. I will develop the game in future tutorials, but for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.